we've done a vlog so excuse any um, uh, weirdness but uh, we're starting a new series uh, it's called a different kind of taste recipe edition um, it's where we are going to our goal is to take unique cookbooks and kind of go through them we would like to go through all the recipes in these cookbooks and just kind of show you how it's done show you how we do it and kind of give you a review at the end what the um, product is supposed to look like and what it turned out to be and this is just something that we're trying to do for fun. We do like to cook, we do like to bake, we went to culinary school, this is something that we've done in the past. Um, so it's kind of like perked our interest especially with the more unique cookbooks. Um, this series, and I say series because each cookbook is going to be its own length I guess, um, this series is going to start off with Nightmare for Dinner. Now, this cookbook is, in my opinion, a really good one to start with because it's all about, it's Tim Burton inspired. Um, and the author of this cookbook, Zach Neal, is the owner and head chef of the Beetle House in New York City. Um, it is a restaurant that is completely inspired by Tim Burton and all of the movies that he's done. If I can find some pictures, I'll put them in here. recipe in this book is inspired by a Tim Burton film um, and every recipe in this book is served up in his restaurant which I thought was really really cool um, there's also the other thing that is not usually in all the cookbooks that I've seen is that there's vegan uh, options for just about all of these recipes which I thought was really really neat too um, so again our goal is to go through these kinds of unique cookbooks and do every single recipe in them. Um, today is Halloween. Uh, we probably won't get this up on Halloween, which is another reason why we kind of wanted to do this book. We wanted to start with this book. Um, and we will be, in this video, we will be doing uh, something called the, um, the Beetle Pie. Uh, this recipe is inspired by Beetlejuice. And Zach described this recipe as having um, the colors of Beetlejuice, the movie Beetlejuice, um, with y white, green, and um, brown and black. It has blackberries in it, which he wanted to have in for a more blood and beetle or insect kind of texture, which I thought was really kind of cool. And the pie crust of this is supposed to be um, indicative of a graveyard. So we wanted to start out with the beetle pie, and uh, we'll start out. So the first thing we have to do is make the, the crust. We went ahead and preheated the oven, and um, we have cookies that we're going to put into the food processor. And we're sacrificing the little guys, the little graham cracker. Uh, Teddy bears, mm. I guess. Yeah, graham, graham cracker. The recipe did call for specifically um, some wafer cookies, um, but we thought this might be much more fun. And then it says to go ahead and pulse this. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Also, before you begin any of this, the um, oven needs to be turned on. Just, yeah, I just, said that. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. To about that size. And then we're gonna add our. Uh, oh, that's all right. We do. We had. Uh, we have some butter. We melted some butter, and it is now cold temperature. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pulse this again until it is like coffee ground consistency. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our coffee ground um, sacrifice teddy bear grams and uh, we're going to, oops, let me just take this out here, taking out the thing, and here. So what 
we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, sacrifice teddy bear grams and we're going to put it into the pie plate um, and we're going to just kind of dab it with our hands and on the sides of the pie plate. Um, this has not been sprayed. Should we spray it? It didn't say to spray it. Yeah, I mean this is a very brand new pie print. I'm, I'm just going to take a chance and not spray it, so here we go. And if it comes out wrong, you know to spray it. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to pat it all down. And we're going to pat it up on the side. And oh good, our timer is ready for the oven, which is perfect because the next thing we gotta do is let this bake just a little bit until um, it's kind of like um, till you can smell it, really. Uh, yeah. It's so an interesting thing. Yeah. Until it's fragrant. Until it's fragrant. So um, that's that's the next bit, and we will see you in just a second um, when it's done. All right, so this is what the crust looks like when it's all done baking. All we did totally was put different. it in there. All right, <laughs> all we did was put it in there oh, for just a couple of minutes. It? Well, I just wanted to say it doesn't. It does not look. It's different. showing the. It's interesting through the camera. It's showing the bottom of the, in this area right here. In this area right here, it shows the bottom of the, the pan pretty clearly. But it's not like that. In no, real life. It's, it's really pretty, not. It's really covered. Yeah, it's really kind of covered, and um, the sides are darker. But nothing different, really nothing different. Oh, and it's, it's sticking together. It is? So, yep, it's sticking yeah. together. Yep, that's it. It's all done. Now we're going to wait to cool this down, and we're going to do our filling So next. for the inside of the uh, beetle pie, we are going to go ahead and put in sp oh, pistachio. I always pistachios. say it wrong. Pistachios. <laughs> pistachios, some sugar, and a little bit of water to make our paste. I'm just going to show this because I, I find that this is very kind of... Trying to keep with the holiday Yeah, theme. yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we do have a shot glass of uh, oh. Skullhead. Go oh, ahead. Skullhead. Is this unplugged? Let's make sure this is unplugged while we're working with it. There's the pistachios. And the sugar. So we got all of our uh, sugar and pistachios ground up to a powder consistency. We're going to add some water and we're going to grind them up again until it's kind of like a paste. Oh, we're ready. Um, we mix it up. That didn't take as long, nearly as long as I thought it was going to, but it is like a paste consistency, just so you guys can see. Uh, so there you go. Okay, so the next step is to whisk together some milk and vanilla, which is in the milk that we have. And the pistachio paste. Can you give me a spatula? get together until it starts boiling. So this is what it looks like when it's boiling. All right, so the next part is our uh, dry ingredients, although I know I have egg yolks in there. Um, we're going to whisk together uh, egg yolks, sugar, and cornstarch with a little bit of salt in it. And we're gonna whisk this until this, we're gonna whisk this, we're gonna whisk this until it's, um, it resembles a, kind of like a yellow paste. Uh, 
and then we're going to, our milk mixture right now is off the heat. And once this is done, which I honestly thought was probably going to take a little longer, we're going to add this to the milk mixture and return that to the heat. I want to make sure it's a little greeny right now. I want to make sure I can get all of that combined. More pestle style. Alright. So we're going to add this to our milk mixture over back on the heat. Can you, can you get that so spatula? we are getting crap a spatula. Yeah. So we are now whisking the yellow paste and the milk mixture together. Oops, sorry. sorry. Until it boils, right? Yep, until it boils. And then we gotta do it for a little bit longer until it thickens. Sorry, I know the bowl is probably blocking out a lot of the stuff, but I wanna make sure I get everything in there. And what we're essentially doing right now is we're making a pistachio pudding. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you gotta whisk that until it boils, and then it should thicken right after. So after it boils, mix it for another 20, 30, 30 seconds? Yeah, about 30 seconds or so. Okay, come here and look at this because it's been 30 seconds and it has somewhat thickened. Okay, starting to really boil here. I'm going to have to turn it off. Come in. Turn it off. All right, we put in some butter, and we're supposed to put it in there until it's all blended. And then, put in some food coloring, which I can't open up. Now, I didn't realize when I got the food coloring that I got gel instead of actual color. So, this is gonna be interesting. You think it's blended? Huh? You think it's blended? Yeah, that's gone. All right, well then it's blended. All right, so food coloring? Yep. Hopefully the gel will work. Oh, it's working. I'm just gonna put in a lot because it's supposed to be really green. Yeah, really, really green. That looks good. Should I put in more? No, I think that looks good. What do you think? It's minty green. Minty green? Well, now I have to put in more because now I see minty. No, okay. Should we try the yellow? We could try yellow. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> we have a geeky mom here <laughs> helping. You want to open that up so we can put in some yeah, yellow? Yeah, but we have to make sure. How, how deep should this green be? It should be we green, green. It? Well, okay, it's going to be put in yellow. It's going to be a, the put. It's not like we're baking this. So yeah. It's going to be this green. Yeah, all right. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit there. We had heard. It almost turning brown now, though. That's, That's, not, afraid. That's not a worry. No worries. No worries. We got this. Maybe yellow's not a good idea. We've got. Well, I mean, it is BLG, so it's not like it's gonna be a perfect green. All right. We have other um, food coloring. No, we got it. I think we just saved it. Honestly, I think we're pretty good. We wanted to test it. We heard that yellow brings out the green. And I guess in some things it does, but not in this one. <laughs> oh my, that was too close. Too close, fucking camera. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You're going to have to edit that out. Okay. It said fogging camera. Oh, that's not what I heard. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. I well, think we're really still, good. I want to keep mixing this until you find out. So a what we're going to do now is we need to, this needs to cool for about two to three hours in the refrigerator. 
Um, but it's not going to be that long for you it's guys. It's not going to be that long for you guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so while the pudding is cooling, we're going to go ahead and make our uh, topping, blueberry topping. As you see, we have some blueberries in the pot. And we're going to go ahead and throw in some sugar and some water. Whoops, there goes all of the water. And then we're going to whisk that for about uh, for a while. And then that's going to be our jam. So we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we've been whisking the jam, blackberry jam, for about 20 minutes. Um, and now we're just going to stir it, not whisk it, until it starts thickening up. And I think it already is. I, I do. I think it's starting to thicken up now. I don't know if you can tell. Actually, I can, yeah. It is starting to thicken up. Mm -hmm. It's it's so Don't get it too close. Cool. I learned that earlier. <laughs> to see how fast it happens. And the, the other thing is the blackberries basically turned red. They yeah, turned, they started like, looking like, um, oh, sorry. Yep, told you. They started looking like raspberries. Yeah. They got that bright red, so pretty neat. Yep. Definitely looks like, um, like, uh, like blood. If, yeah. you, if you're looking for, I mean, who knew, blackberries turning into a color red for blood, but. Yep, so now what we're going to be doing is waiting until this turns a little bit, just a little bit thicker. It's not going to look too much different. Um, and then we're going to put this in a container and wait until our pudding is cool and uh, just combine everything into the pie form. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's been a little while. Our jam is now, or our, our pudding is now pudding-fied, and our jam is now jetty jelly fied Jammy, jammy, jammy <laughs> fied yes. Jammy fied. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the pudding into the pie crust and spread it all around. And actually, the color is kind of spot on in the camera. Like, that is really kind of the green that we're looking for. That's it. Like, so spread it, spread it all around. Like, don't, like, don't, yeah, there you go, there you go. Okay, so one mistake that we did, obviously, was the crust was not all the way to the top. I should have realized that. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is basically spread the jammy jam into the... Uh, pistachio pudding, Mommy. and we're gonna we're supposed to put it like <laughs> blood spot. Sorry, that's that's my son. That's Corbin. <laughs> we're supposed to think. It, it says think blood splatter. So go ahead, Kate. I'm just gonna put it on yeah. top. No, but you but do it all around too. Yeah, like blood splatter. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Mi mix it with the like. Yeah, no, mix yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You put some over here. There we go. Okay. I think we're pretty good there. All right. Now the next thing, uh, we need to put the whipped topping on top. No, we we'll probably do that when we serve it. Because if we do it now, it's just gonna be on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna stay yeah, well, well. Yeah, that's true. So, um, I guess the next thing um, is that you're gonna see is a completed dish on a plate. Or no, the completed dish before we cut it. Um, but the next, um, what we're gonna do is basically put it back in the fridge, let it set for a little bit, um, and then we're gonna serve it. So I guess we'll see you then. All right, we put it in the fridge for a good number of bits. It is really liquidy. liquidy. Yeah. I'm like too liquidy. So I think we may have done too much of the pudding. Um, we probably needed to put some more of the raspberry on top. Do you want to try? It tastes good. I know it's gonna taste good. Try. I just wanna. Definitely doesn't not look like what it's supposed to look like. So it's the crust. It's a problem. <laughs> the crust? Come here, John. Yes. You think? Fine. Yeah, I think we didn't. A problem. You think we used the wrong kind of ingredient? I don't know. I really side? don't know. 
Hey that girl. mine? Yeah, it's oh. supposed to get whipped cream on it. Okay. That's what it looks like. It's still gonna taste really good, it I'm sure. It tastes really good. It tastes really, really good. We probably, we didn't, I think we put in too much of the pistachio pudding and we didn't do the crust right. So. There you go. There it you actually go. tastes really good. We just gotta. We gotta do it, we gotta do it right. So, one out of five. One out of five, yes. I'd give it like, uh, I'd give it a two or a three on the look of it, holding it together. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's like a four or five for flavor. It's really good. Four or five for flavor. Yeah, you want one, to One of how we did it in looks. All right, so that's the end version of the beetle pie, beetle pie. For, uh, for us. And we'll see you next time when we do the beetle juice. And then who knows what after that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.